Hello everyone. Um, yep, we're Fifth Column, and it's been quite a happy mistake because our talk today is kind of like a direct sequel to what Gavin and Teal were talking about. Um, we're going to talk today about taking a personal project and converting it into a commercial IP. Yeah, cheers, Connor. Um, so, IP development. Uh, I'm going to say IP development, it's a hell of a lot different from just personal projects. Personal projects are all something that we can all do. Uh, IPs are obviously come out of personal projects, but it's not something that is as easy to do. There's a lot more steps with it. IP development is when you have a personal project that you've developed and you, you, you see promise in it, you know, whether it be something like Below the Salt, where you've worked at it for the next or the course of two years, three years, and you've just worked day in, day out at it, and it's garnered interest, and now you want to protect this idea and make sure that you can profit from your own you know, idea generation. And begin a kind of new realm of how I can generate resources or support to kind of bring that from just a personal project to a commercialized IP from there. And we're kind of looking at it as a token-esque IP development, and it's turned into now not a post-apocalyptic, awful world. It's still awful, but now we have a whole human element of like uh, religions being based around these, these oppressors and all that stuff, and it's a really, it actually has themes now, would you believe it, in a story. So really, really fun little um, exercise to go through how much it takes to pitch to people over there, like mm. uh, yeah. actually going into the realm of commercializing a personal project was crazy. I can add on to that a little bit as well. Yeah, sure. Because there, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of issues when when you go apply for a trademark, you gotta make a case essentially. Yeah. Um, and that's a long process in itself. But you gotta make sure that, that if you're doing a game, there's no game that has that specific. You know. Yeah. Is it if it's a game that's on the same platform, but then is it a bit of a similar subject? Can it be mistaken? Is the logos the same? Yeah. Do you have the domain name? Do you have the .com? There's so many things that when you do go full on applying for a trademark, then you need to make your best case, and these these are all things that point towards it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hot, 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 h